Welcome back guys, welcome back to the channel man, Looper Norris here, hopefully everyone's doing good. I got another album reaction video here, a new album I will be talking about throughout this video, giving you guys my reaction, a rating at the end of the video. Today we're gonna do Tierra Wax album, Worldwide Wax. This is an album she released March 15th of this year. She's a experimental pop R&B rapper out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She's known for working with people like Lauren Hill, Tyler, the creator. I think she's um, a little bit below the radar just because of the style of music that she makes. It's very experimental, not your traditional hip hop and she merges that with genres like R&B, pop music, just a lot of other genres she'll kind of mash together to kind of create her own genre in a lot of ways. Very distinctive style. This is the very different stuff that I'm hearing from her. She's been around for a minute too. Like she's been around for like the last 10 years, but I think because of how experimental her music is, she's not like super famous. So a lot of you guys probably never heard of her. This might be the first time you guys are hearing from her through this video. Tierra whack honestly i never really heard of her one of her music videos just popped up on my uh youtube news feed and that's basically how i found out about her the song tonight she has like a music video for it she pulls some pretty crazy numbers like that video is probably at like two million now i think like i'm actually pretty surprised i never heard of her before seeing that video pretty famous for the most part she dropped an album recently and doing the research on her discography it looks like it's her first album she's ever released so that's actually pretty cool and it's a little bit odd because she's been like a professional artist for the last like 10 years so i find it kind of surprising that it's the first album she's ever put together she's only done like mixtapes and eps in the past i'm about to give you guys my reaction for this album here worldwide whack by tierra whack before i get into this album review album reaction songs i'll be releasing in the future so the next song to come out this one's called dragon propane this one is set for july 24th all platforms everywhere where i post my music july 24th dragon propane i got a mixtape i'll be dropping for october 4th of this year this one's a 15 track mixtape called hashtag indica that's the official name for it. This is a 15 track mixtape set for October 4th. I'm going to play out a couple of songs for off of the album, just like I usually do with this segment. Give you guys an idea of how this sounds like before I start talking about it and giving my rating, my opinion about the album. I'm going to try to just do like two to three songs, maybe like five seconds of each. We're going to break this one down, man. Tierra Whack, Worldwide Whack, man. She's made a lot of songs before this release. Like I said, she's been around for like 10 years and this is the first piece of music that I ever heard from her And I'm probably gonna look up more of her music because she's definitely got some talent So the first song I'll play I'll try to find good ones with a lot of rapping because like I said, she does everything She's a singer too. She does R&B Experimental mixed in it too. So I'm gonna try to find the more the most hip-hop songs on the album this, So this one's called Invitation I'm a mixin' Nike with Adidas Oh my God, I'm sick, I got a fever Uh, the next track I'll play This one's called X By your attitude, incompatible and dramatic too Talk a good game, but you never was stunning He hoping I stick around like a drummer It must be a bummer I think that we should separate from each other it's Uh, this one's called Misbehave We'll go with Misbehave Not the rest of the bar, Uh, Tierra Whack, Worldwide Whack, 15 tracks on this one. I'll say this, she does a lot of different genres. This is the first piece of music I've ever heard from her. I never heard of her before making this video, this episode on her album. One of her music videos came up on my newsfeed and that's how I found out about her. She's been around for the last like eight to 10 years. So it's a little bit surprising that this is the first time I'm hearing about her. Just looking back before the album, now I know this artist, I did a little bit of research about like what kind of music she 
makes and like who she is. Like I mentioned earlier, she's from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Got some pretty big music videos she's made in the past that are getting some pretty crazy numbers. Maybe people are starting to discover her now. The fact that this is her debut album that she released recently. A lot of people that maybe heard of her before probably woke up and was basically like, oh, Tierra Whack, I forgot about this chick. Like she just released a new album, like what? 2024, she's finally releasing her debut. Maybe it wasn't ready. She maybe started the album way before and she needed to take a little bit of time before she felt like the album was ready to be released. So maybe the situation was like that. Looking at her past songs, even before this album, she dips into a lot of other genres. She She's not just a rapper, which I, I, I thought most artists that do hip hop music will try singing too, just because it helps overall in terms of like selling the music and getting more fans and staying relevant. Listening to the album, I feel like she's more of a, a singer than a rapper. I do think she has rapping talent. It's not at the same level as her singing, man. It definitely sounds like she started off singing and then got into rapping because like she's not bad at rapping, but there's a huge difference between the level of skill of her singing and the level of skill of her rapping. I think it's like a huge, huge difference. I think she should stick to singing. Any other projects that she makes in the future, I think if she stuck to singing, she would be a far bigger artist than she is right now. I mean, maybe not, you know what I mean? Maybe the rapping is helping her stay as relevant as she is. But like, in my opinion, I don't think she's good at rapping, man. Like, I don't know if it's just the album. She does have her moments where she's rapping and she's barring up a bit. She has moments uh, of that throughout the album. A little bit, spits here and there. But like, for the most part, the album is just full of like, just a lot of experimental ideas, especially with the when it comes to the beats, the instrumentals. I enjoyed the beats on here. I think the beats outdid the lyrics 100% for sure it's like the whole album is just like in a, a whole experimental project like it's experimental project that she's been uh, working on and that could be the reason why she took this long to put out her debut album maybe because it's super experimental and she wasn't sure where to put the singing she wasn't sure where to put the hip-hop the rapping and how to blend both styles together i can see that part being very difficult when it comes to producing the album and songwriting for it i think she should stick to singing man and see with this album i think the songs where she's like mainly singing i think they outshine the songs where she's mainly rapping her take on rapping is just she's trying to sound like the most relevant style of hip-hop that you hear nowadays um that you'll hear on the radio you'll hear playing at the club it's like she's taking that style of hip-hop and trying to mix it with her own style but it's not working for some reason it's like the lines that she's coming up with in her mind when she drops it with the flow and with the delivery that she drops it with you can hear the confidence that she has in terms of like her feeling like an artist feeling like a rapper like when you hear her rap you can definitely hear the confidence maybe in her mind she's thinking that she's killing other rappers with what she's saying when you really listen to the lines and the songs that i've seen because i'm using youtube to play her songs out she has lyric videos for her songs right so i'm reading the lyrics for every bars that she's dropping for all of her songs you hear the confidence in her delivery when she's dropping the bars and you can definitely hear the artist in her voice like you could definitely tell she's been doing this for a long time she's been sharpening her pen she's been working on her whole like craft on like what style she wants to put out through the music through her bars through her rapping when you listen to what she's actually saying in her lines it's just like there's just so many lines that i've heard in the past that like blew my mind just like whoa this person actually like thought of that he or she came up with that line like that's that's crazy right i sort of think about that does this measure up to like this bar or this line or what this rapper said it's kind of like with uh tierra wax lines whenever i'm listening to her like more hip-hop rapping type of songs and i'm listening to her bar up it's not terrible but it's 
also like underwhelming very mid very okay lines that she'll be dropping just because of the style of the beat and the type of genres that she's trying to mash together and her whole vision of what kind of music she wants to put out the bars that she's dropping with her hip-hop songs are a little bit too mid for how powerful of like a, a message that she's trying to push out overall with through her music through her metaphors and similes through her whole like poetic vision that she's trying to like put together because i think she's a very artsy type of artist very artsy mind when she makes her music like i was saying earlier i feel like if she stuck to just r&b and she sung the entire time throughout the album and all the beats stay the same zero rapping and everything was just experimental R&B. I think I would have praised this album a lot more and it would have been like a higher rating and I would have enjoyed the album a lot more if it was like, like that. So when I hear those styles throughout her album, it makes me enjoy it. I think all of the songs where she's singing on it, I enjoy those songs the most. I think those are the songs that carry the album. When it gets to her rapping parts, I'm just like, <sighs> Kinda, you know what I mean? It's not like she's, she doesn't suck at rapping, but it's just like, it's so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. Talking about her rapping. This is a very experimental album. There's a lot going on in this album. There's a lot of different styles of genres being mashed together throughout this album. It almost makes me think that I shouldn't have did a reaction to this album because it's not really a hip hop album. It's more of like an experimental R&B, psychedelic style album. It's more of that with like a hint of hip-hop I'll say the other half of the album is all singing and like pop style ideas just a lot of singing a lot of experimental singing ideas which I like more than the hip-hop so like I'm more of a fan of the singing songs the pop singing experimental psychedelic style songs than her hip-hop songs i don't think she's good at rapping like i don't know if it's just this album and i gotta hear past songs of her rapping but this is a hip-hop segment it's kind of unfair because it's like half of the album's hip-hop and then the other half is kind of like r&b it makes it a little difficult to give a, a rating for this album and pick it apart because it's not really hip-hop but i gotta judge the album as if it is a hip-hop album then again this is a hip-hop segment I after saying all of that, well, let me just talk about the beats just a little more. Like, I think the beats are pretty good. They're not incredible and they're not beats that will turn the club up. Even performing, I don't think these are the type of beats that you would want to perform with where the crowd is going to go crazy. They have more of like an intimate, more of like a small room type of vibe where you have a whole band playing behind you, maybe like a hundred people in the room. It's almost like you're performing poems you're performing poetry in, in a lot of ways that's the vibe that the instrumentals gave me on this album i like it and i don't like it i like it more than i dislike it in terms of the beats the beats don't really work with how she raps but i think they're perfect for how she sings she would be a far better artist if she sung more than she rapped it should be like 90 percent singing 10 percent rapping maybe get like features other rappers to be featured in your song to do the rapping part and then she she sticks to the singing parts like I don't think she sucks at rapping she has some bars where I'm like yo for the most part I just think it's like she's just a very okay rapper you know what I mean for how good a lot of the beats are on this and how good a lot of just the ideas overall in terms of her vision on uh, trying to make different music the rapping kind of like made all that underwhelming altogether i thought she was gonna be a way better rapper man before hearing the album but i'm just like i'm listening listening i'm waiting and i'm just like what is what is this man she should have stuck to singing on this one it, it should have just been an r&b album in terms of a rating critiquing this album as a hip-hop album and i'm mainly focused on the rapping parts of the album this album's a 5.2 out of 10 if she stuck to the r&b and the singing part 
of the album if it was just like all r&b singing this album probably would have been like an 8 out of 10 because she does rap on quite a few songs on this one and i gotta critique it as if it's an, a hip-hop album it's a 5.2 out of 10 man tierra whack worldwide whack album 5.2 out of 10 comment down below let me know if i'm absolutely crazy for giving it a 5.2 out of 10 if you would give it a higher rating like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already once again i'm looper norris hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure you're subscribed to the channel i'm gonna try to do two of these every week more content to come more music on the way hashtag indica october 4th this is a big time 15 track mixtape make sure you guys check that out once i drop it that's all i got for this one i'm out peace